God. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, thank you for life and light, revelation, understanding, wisdom, discernment, glory. Thank you for peace and thank you for joy. Thank you for strength. We love you. Amen. All right, I come your, I come your way again with a word from the Lord. This is Psalm 67, and listen to it. It's so relevant. That's what God is saying now. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us, Salah, that thy way may be known upon the earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our, our, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Amen. I'm so excited. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. The original says face to face with God. And all things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. The word of God is God. That's the most important thing you need to know about the word of God. That the word of God is God. Essentially and potentially. Whatever God can do, the word can do. Whatever God is, the word is. The word is the first revelation and the manifestation of God. And the Bible says that the same was in the beginning with God. That's the mystery of God. That's the secret of God. And you want to know? That's all that God is. Yeah. When God reveals his oracle to you, he calls you deity. He called them gods unto whom the word of the Lord came. Yeah. The divinity of God is in the word. That is it. So he called them gods unto whom the word of the Lord came. You know what? Once God keeps speaking, there's nothing to fear. Unless God is not talking. Or unless we don't have access to the word of God. That is why the greatest tragedy that can befall a people if, if they don't have the word, if they are burned from the word, if they are separated from the word. But whatever the word is, there's life, there's joy, there's hope, there's liberty, there's wisdom. Hallelujah. The scripture I had said, God be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us selves. That his way may be known in all the earth and his saving health in all the nations. And then he went on to say, Let the people praise thee, let the people praise thee, so the earth will yield its increase. So God will bless us. Hallelujah. You know, the season in which we are, we are at a time where God is revealing his glory, his face is shining on us. I know you're like, ah, you mean in this coronavirus pandemic? Yes. The light shines in darkness. And darkness is not able to comprehend. It's not able to appropriate it. It's not able to seize upon it. It's not able to extinguish it. The light shines so strong in darkness. God is shining on us. His face is shining on us. The glory of God. Is about to be revealed. And he started now. And his saving health will be known in all the nations. The glory of God is coming upon you. You build houses and inhabit them. You plant plants. Be ready to do things. Things you never did before. Because the glory of God is coming so strong upon you. Arise and shine for your light has come. And the glory of God is risen upon you. Gross darkness. Darkness will cover the earth. Gross darkness the people. But his light will shine upon me. And his glory will arise on you. Yeah. Yeah. You will fill your mouth with laughter, your tongue with singing. 
Because the Lord has turned our captivity. It will be like a dream. Yeah. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we're like them that dream. The Bible says, they that trust in the Lord will be like Mount Zion that cannot be moved but abided forever. And as the mountains encompass Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about them that fear him. The Bible says, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber, not sleep. In his presence is fullness of joy. At his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall own. The Lord is your shepherd. You know what? No good thing will he withhold from them that walk up righteously. Oh, I see the Lord as your sheep. At your right hand and at your left hand. The Lord is holding your hand. He's leading the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He will make you to lie down in green pastures. He will lead you beside the still waters. This is true and it's real. This is when you're going to see the glory of God. You're going to see the hand of God. The Lord bless you. The Lord give you joy. The Lord give you peace. And the Lord bring you to the place of his glory. Amen. Now, the devourer is rebuked for your sake. The enemy is cursed for your sake. We rebuke every part of Satan as we release the glory of God. May glory fill the nations. May glory fill your land. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen.